Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today Evgeny will show us how to replace the fuel filter on his own 2015 XC70 D4 diesel. It's also Polestar. Let's get started. The Volvo maintenance guide will recommend replacing the diesel fuel filter once every 60,000 kilometers and draining the condensation from the bottom every 30,000. If you live in a region where the fuel is very dirty, you need to replace the filter every 10, 20,000 kilometers. Evgeny replaces every year, once a year, just before winter. The MAN filter is exactly the same as the Volvo original one, so you don't need to overpay for that. In the box you're going to get the filter and the sealing o-ring. Now for the tools you're going to need the special tool. This is the official Volvo part number. You can also get some aftermarket tools available online, but you don't have to use this special tool. You can just use a 32 millimeter socket and a wrench to undo the filter housing. So it's up to you what you want to use. We're going to show you later both methods. Location of the filter is on the rear of the car, on the right passenger side. As you can see, the car is on ramps to get better access to the fuel filter. Right there. Now you'll need uh, some kind of catch can. Uh, we just used a bottle here. First, we need to unscrew this uh, bottom plug. This is where you're going to drain the condensation, water and debris every 30,000 kilometers. Um, so once you unscrew, you can even attach a little uh, narrow hose. You can see the nipple where you can attach. We're going to just undo it and drain all the fuel before we actually remove the whole housing. Using here 19 millimeter socket as uh, 18 millimeter is pretty rare. Just undo the uh, plug and then unscrew it by hand. As you can see, the plug now spins freely even by hand. And uh, now we need to undo the housing. This is a 32 millimeter socket. You can attach and just uh, use the wrench to undo the housing. This is uh, uh, one method. Or you can uh, use the special tool. The whole housing can bend a little because it sits on rubber bushings. So don't be afraid uh, to gently move it around, uh, it's not going to break. Or just use the special tool, which is more comfortable to use here. Trying to catch here uh, as much as possible of the fuel and I would recommend uh, putting underneath uh, another pan just in case you're gonna miss and it's gonna go on the ground. 
What we did is we loosened the drain plug and then we loosen the housing and this will allow all the fuel to leak out. Now we're gonna hand tighten the drain plug so it doesn't uh, drip. And now you can uh, completely undo the filter housing. And uh, now the tricky part to get it out. There is a trick you need to unscrew the plug and this way the housing will slide in between the suspension components. So the plug is out and the housing slides sideways. And the housing is out. Now you can just pull out the filter itself, just pull on it downwards. It's a good idea to clean the plug and the housing using some uh, brake cleaner. And as you can see the housing is clean, there wasn't much dirt uh, on it at all. This is the drain plug and it has two o-rings. Uh, one of them completely seals and the second o-ring doesn't let the fuel uh, uh, drain uh, around it. Which means uh, when you drain uh, access condensation, dirt and water, you unscrew the plug just enough for the access uh, to drain. So you don't want to unscrew it completely out. And uh, as I said before, the um, recommended interval for uh, draining the condensation and dirt is every 30,000 kilometers and replacing the filter every 60,000 kilometers. And if you have uh, a region where you live in, uh, you have dirty fuel or not very good fuel, just replace it once a year or as Volvo recommends, replacing the fuel filter every 10 to 20,000 kilometers. The filter itself has this uh, sealing uh, sticker which prevents any dirt or debris from getting inside the filter. This is very important. Make sure you remove it before installing, of course. The new o-ring comes in the kit. Make sure you replace it. And before installing it onto the housing, uh, lubricate it with the fuel that you drained. This way when you screw the housing back on, the gasket will not uh, catch and will not deform. Make sure that the o-ring sits all the way inside the groove. Don't reinstall the drain plug as uh, it will uh, interfere with the uh, reinstallation of the housing. Just push on the filter all the way in until it clicks in. 
Но он у нас там висит. За счет соединения и манжет резиновый уплотнение. Так, и ставим крышку. Be very gentle on tightening the drain plug. All done, now it's time to start the engine and check for any leaks. And everything looks good, there is no visible leaks, all done. I hope that you found this video helpful, so please like it, subscribe to my channel, don't forget the notification bell. Let's all of us again thank Evgeny for uh, making this video for us, for spending the time. Thank you again, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye and I invite you to watch some uh, other videos on my channel.